Right, I'm going to do the basic part one tower from Tube and Fet. So I'm just going to show you how it's done. So first up, the tools we'll need. We need a level, tape, and a spanner. Uh, open ender if you've got one. The drill obviously isn't allowed at cost. So four pads, four plates. Your fittings, eight doubles. Your eights for your ledgers and then your eights for your legs. And a pen or chalk, depending on what you have at your college. I get a base plate like that. And then I mark off my tubes. These are my ledger tubes. Mark them all. Make sure they're all in line. And then you know your measurements are the same. And then from your mark there, measure back to 2.1, I think it is. And then same on this side of the tube, 2.1, which is about there. Then I just get a pad or something straight to mark the other two off. Right, so now we're here. We've got our square, all our pads and our corners, all the measurements already on the tubes ready. So we know when we three, four, five it, it'll all be square. We've got to get a leg in, so our legs are stood there. Right, so what you want to do, get your leg, put on your plate, right. roughly a base plate off the floor. Right, so now we've got our one leg up, uh, two eights running out. Uh, we can get our next one in. Uh, it's always important not to leave one leg on one tube or one double, because if it falls. So the next leg we put in with this one, our leg in, and then we'll lift the double up so it's level and we'll level that tube. Right, so we've got that leg in and that leg in. They're all on the marks. You can see the mark just under there. Same on that one. This one. There's our mark for our next leg to go in on. So when you're putting it on the mark, it goes right to the center of the double. Measurement of what you wanted. Then you put this side on the leg, lift him up. So like I say, level goes on this ledger. So that'll be there. So next ledger, like so. Put them into there. There's our mark. So we need to go in a little bit more to there. And then we can do them up. So there we are. Look, we've got three of our legs in now. All level off the base. We've got that one left to go. Right, there we are. We've got all four legs in now. All ready to go. So the next thing you've got to do Find the middle of the tube below and draw a line. And then the center of this tube, draw another line like that. And then what you want to do is three, four, five, it is called. Make sure it's all square. So you measure 300 one way, 400 another way. And then that measurement then should be 500. Right, so I've measured 400 this way, 300 this way. I've drawn a line on the top of the tube, so as you can see where the centre of the tube is. Now you want to get your tape on the centre of that X. So this one's out by 15 mil. So I have made this so it's out quite a lot. You should be able to see it. So what we need to do is slacken the back of all these doubles. All the top ones, only on the leg. Then we can kick the scaffold to square it up as we need. I'll slacken them and show you. Right, so all our doubles are slackened off now. So our scaffold wants to move, this leg wants to move this way. So all you do is pull it gently, like so. And then you remeasure it. So we're now 10 mil out. So 
so we're now five mil out. So there you are, 500 on the X. So we're square now. So we've got to go around and do the backs of all these up again now. Right, then the other way of checking square, which is a bit easier and quicker, but the college do like you to do it that way, is to put a base plate up against there. That is square off the base plate. So you know the base plate's square because they're all cut square. You can do it that way. But the 345 is obviously going to be the better way because you never know. These might have been manufactured wrong. Or, so, yeah, all you do then is run your trannies through, run your lift around. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, like the video and comment what you want to see. And I might do a bit of a series and carry it on, like running the lift through, how to do the braces and go into more detail than what I did on the last one. I know all the proper scaffs on here won't want to see it, but there is people out there that are still learning and going to college. So I thought it'd be a good thing to do so they can learn what they're doing, the basics of scaffolding. Yeah, that's it. Um, don't forget to like the page or follow or subscribe if it's on YouTube. Uh, and we'll do more of this sort of stuff.